What's going on everyone? Nameless here. I'm just getting back from Major 4 and it was a crazy event. A lot of fun. The loudest crowd we've had all year long. Shout out to the New York Subliners for hosting such an incredible event. But it's all about the LA Thieves. They took home the championship and that marks four different tournaments with four different champions. Vanguard has been absolutely insane. But today it is time to give you guys the new power rankings. Bryce had a good list after the last major, but my list is going to be better i'm telling you so let's get right into it we're only going to have eight power rankings today because there are four teams that did not qualify for champs so we're just going to do the top eight that will be going to champs and competing for that trophy Coming in at number eight, we have the London Royal Ravens. They get double first rounded at the last tournament, and they've only been able to really play well online. Afro couldn't translate that much success into land, so for me, they come in at number eight. Coming in at number seven, we have the Boston Breach. Making a roster change, subbing out Capsidal for Vivid, they found online success. They went into the land, and they won a match, and then they lost to two of the top four teams. I see the potential, but still, they're number seven on my list. Coming in at number six, we have the Toronto Ultra. Now they had a good major three, a tough online portion of stage four, and then they go into major four where they hold a couple tough losses. This Toronto team has still been struggling to get those big wins. So for me, I just had to place them at number six. All right, so to me, these next five teams are the teams that are the real threats for the championship. They have all the tools that they need to get that W. And coming in at number five is the Seattle Surge. This is a fantastic roster that is coming off a championship at Major 3. They have Rookie of the Year candidates like Pred and Sib, who recently fried at Major 3 where they took home their championship. I still think Seattle has the potential to win COD Champs. They showed it a month ago. But still, they're working on some things, so they get bumped all the way down to number five. Coming in at number four, we have the New York Subliners. These guys don't have a championship at an official major, but they do have one of the most impressive feats we've seen all season long. It was almost impossible for them to make it into champs. They had to get top two, and they accomplished that goal. This team is firing on all cylinders, and I do think they have what it takes to win a championship. To kick off the top three, we have none other than Optic Texas. They started in round one of loser's bracket and made a run all the way to top four only weeks after Illy returned to the roster. This team has so much talent, they can easily win the Call of Duty League championship. And in their usual spot, number two, is Atlanta phase they've been used to placing second this year something is going wrong in the Atlanta phase camp still you can't deny the talent and the tenure that these guys have in Call of Duty they have potential MVP candidate Selium. he might take it all home this guy has been frying all year long and you know he wants to top it off with a ring keep in mind these guys won the world championship last year so maybe they've just been waiting all season long to take home the big one and the final team coming in at number one is the LA Thieves. They beat FaZe not once, but twice. They beat New York Subliners playing against Destiny in their home state. This team has been better on land than online all season long with players like Kenny who are taking over, players like Draza who are finally getting their first championship, and obviously players like Envoy and Octane who have been going off for years. They can take home this championship. LA Thieves are my favorite to win it all. So there it is. That is the definitive list for the power rankings of the 2022 season headed into champs. You can disagree. You can say what you want. You can put it in the comments below. I will read them, but just so you know, like my list is the correct list, but I can't wait to see what you guys whip up. Make sure you guys tune into champs August 4th to 7th. It's coming up right around the corner. And if you can make sure you attend because it's going to be an absolute blast. And lastly, don't forget, subscribe to the channel for more CDL content. We're going to be pumping it full of things in the months to come. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video.